Hello lovely people, how are you today? As you can see, my room is still under construction. My lights that I use aren't exactly working, so you know, it's going to be quite a dim video today. Um, it's my March in Review books uh, video. I only read two books in March, you know, so it's not going to be very long, but you know, I'm sorry. In in, in April, I'll read more books. I, I, I'll promise you that. I'll read at least four. Is that good enough for you? Hope so. Okay, let's start off with the first book I read, and that is Push by Sapphire, and I have the movie cover here, and it says it's Precious, because it was made into the movie Precious, you may have seen it. This was in my local bookshop for two euro, so you know, I couldn't leave without it. Anyway, this is a story of Clarice Precious Jones, she is a American black teenager who lives in Harlem, and she got pregnant when she was around 12 by her dad and this story is basically her writing about her life it's written uh, colloquially it uses the vernacular of the area um, and we start off the novel by seeing that she's pregnant again by her father and she's about 16 now her first baby uh, was born with Down syndrome and she calls her she calls I can't remember if it was a him or her but she calls the baby little Mongo which is a bit, it's, it's awful to be called that. And um, yeah, it's basically the story of her being kicked out of school and her mother's abusive towards her. And basically she goes to this new school and there's a teacher who believes in her. And you know, it's a typical kind of story like that. And you know, it's really enjoyable. On Goodreads I gave it 3 out of 5, mainly because uh, it was a bit short and because it just kind of ended it's kind of written diary, it's not in, written in diary form, but it's her writing about her life. But it just kind of ended, and I thought that was a bit disappointing. The second book I read this month, which I only read about two days ago, because I kind of didn't want to make a video w about one book, was Happy Slapped by a Jellyfish, The Words of Carl Pilkington. Now, if you know who Carl Pilkington is, you know that he isn't a very happy man. This is basically... An Idiot Abroad. If you've seen the series An Idiot Abroad, this is basically An Idiot Abroad in book form and written, I think it was around 2007, so a couple of years before the series was actually made. It's basically diary, another diary of him going to like Madeira and the Caribbean and Weymouth and Malaga, New York, Florida. Just him complaining about travel and all the places he doesn't like. This is another 3 out of 5. This has been an average month for books. Um, it's good. I like how he does... He's very pessimistic. He's kind of like me. He doesn't like change at all. Um, there's a picture. It's kind of like that. And he has his own... Uh, he has his own illustrations in them and stuff. It's very... It's interesting enough. It's not amazing. It's not brilliant. Just okay. So they were the books I read in March. Um, I know I only read two. Please don't kill me. I'm currently reading Cormac McCarthy's The Road because Lena made a video about it recently, really recently, a couple of days ago, and I was like, I bought this about two or three years ago and I just need to read it. So I'm currently reading it. I just started it about an hour ago. I'm on page 60. It's really good, surprisingly. It reminds me of um, uh, Richard Matheson's I Am Legend and I really enjoyed that. So let's hope it goes well. Um, until next time, lovely people. Bye. And, uh, it's my February in review books video today. Um, I did only read two books. February? No, it's March. Shit.